one new 2007 tutorial. I stumbled upon it by going through my Windows task bar, and it was there when I opened it up. And I was just showing all types of stuff. Probably all of them type anyway, that was interesting. So I went through my Windows bar, typed in Microsoft Office one new. Opened it up. Saw this. After I got to know it a bit, I put it in my dock. So, these are the first ones you start one. You want to click new. I did blank. So you type in the name. Tutorial. I'll call this. Okay. Uh, you choose multi people share this notebook. I will use it on multi computers or I will use it on this computer. For now I'm going to do I will use it on this computer. Take the path where you want to save it and create it. You can this page or you can add many pages. Then you click new page. You can choose from the templates. Click blank template. Or you can go like that. To shrink or unshrink. Or you can choose your template. Like I'll do glasses corner right now. See so you have a template up there of a little thing. Or you can get a computer. Or push pin. So you want to shrink that, then you can make it a to-do list, if to-do list if you want, you can go, you can choose your font, bullets, or numbering, I'll prefer numbering for a to-do list, pull that out more, and so, the first one, make the one note tutorial. You edit it in Windows Movie Maker. Three, publish it to YouTube. Three, then four. Embold it to the website. We're all from here. Yeah, we'll add it. You can see that thing. Yeah. I don't think you can. You can do really typing. It's not the usual control Z. Actually, it is. Whoops. I wasn't reading that right. Then you can choose. You right click, then font. You can choose everything you want usually. Now, you have to select it in the region. You can't go up and choose the header while you're doing that. You can scroll through all your fonts you have on your computer. I'll do test V, make the size too big. And I'll make the size, I guess, 24 and pull it outwards. So it looks nice. I will strike through it, make it a and underline it. Then they also have the blog list. I haven't actually tried this yet, so you see it for the first time. You'd register an account, I guess, and then you would send it all to your site. If you're using Microsoft to do it, you can use Publisher for that. I'm not positive on that. Then you can, yeah. you can choose from up there. You can choose spelling, set language, numbering, bullets, with font, template, page setup, customize my tags, and more. We're going to templates. 
the academic. Um, you have many choices. Why? The default. Uh, but uh, there's many you can choose. I prefer on um, decorative. Uh, business for a school if you want to be using that for extra credit maybe or decorative depending on what type you want to be doing or something okay. then players are great for to do list there you have the checkbox made when you're doing like checking off for what you need to use school oh food shopping list right there and a uh, project to do list planning, preparation like tasks you have to do for school and that would be good to hang in your locker or put it up on your bulletin board in your room and it can come in handy so when you not want the page you right click delete or you don't want this section of tutorial or what you named your notebook you go under close this notebook well, and it's automatically saved then you'll see all your other things opened up maybe and I have food list to make a food list of what I need for my high priority, medium priority or low which means you don't really need that much you can test to check it black and color if it's yellow around it anything around it copy hyperlink to this section, move, and say that. You have to read it right now, so I'm not sure why. Uh, now when you're done after you saved it, like it out like any other Microsoft or even Office organization program you would choose. And this is out of the tutorial today on Microsoft OneNote, which will open up most times like this, I'm not sure if I'll do it every time too. And that's it. Keep checking in for my videos for new ones and updates on my Twitter for stuff I do not put on my website. Bye.